P petalless condition, it is that, uh, okay. After that, for example, P, P indicated that perion. If it is not differentiated that either sepals and petals, both are the same, that is known as the perion. For example, if stamens are attached to that perion, so that is known as epiphyllous condition. Right. So after that, gynesium part, G means it is known as the gynesium. So if gynesium having that indicating of that uh, three, it means gynesium having three carpels. If without bracket, three carpels and free. For example, with a bracket, carpels are three and fused. Okay. After that, so it is a gynesium part. The gynesium, so below that line is there. That is indicated the thalamus. The line indicated that thalamus. Okay. If gynesium is present above the thalamus, so that is known as that indication of superior ovary. It is the indication of that superior ovary. If line is indicated that above, Okay, so gynesium is present okay, below the thalamus. Okay, that's why it is that inferior ovary. Inferior ovary. After that, if line is present at the center, so it is indicated that Thalam is present at the center, so gynesium is present towards the thalamus at the center, so that is indicating of, of superior or of inferior, of superior or of inferior condition. So that is known as that floral formula. So in the floral formula, A means first it is that andrisium, oral of stamens. So if A3, stamens are if 3, without bracket, it is indicated that, uh, okay, free condition. If A, 3 plus 3, so stamens are arranged into two orals, but they are, uh, okay, not fused. It means free condition with a bracket, so they are the fused. 9 plus 1, so it is a generally the cohesion. Filaments are fused to form that bundle. So that is known as the cohesion part. For example, if stamen, stamens are attached to that other parts of the flower, it indicated that uh, addition. It is indicated that addition. So in that addition, this stamens are attached to that corolla. So that is indication indication of uh, epipetalous condition. Okay. So after that, P means perion. If okay. So for example, <coughs> perion sepals and petals are not differentiate. So they are appear the similar. So that is known as that uh, perion. Okay. If stamens are attached to the perion, so that is known as that. Uh, epiphyllous condition indicated by the symbol. So G means it is a gynesium. So this gynesium having that mainly, okay. So three, three means indicating of that carpels. Number of carpels are three without bracket indicating that uh, it is that free. So after that, so carpels are three. So it indicated that uh, bracket. So it means fused. It means they are the united. After that, line is indicated the thalamus. 
above the thalamus is gynecium is present at the time ovary is indicated that superior ovary if means this symbol is indicated that which ovary it is a superior ovary the object bit medical point so after that so g is present so at the center to the thalamus it is indicated that inferior ovary after that uh, below the thalamus it is indicated that uh, inferior ovary at the center line is present thalamus is present at the center to the gynecium so that is known as half superior and half inferior ovary so this that is known as that floral formula